Hey, it's your boy King Nation Nova Slate, Nova Chronicles. It's your boy Dysfunctional. Dysfunctional's world. Now, we're still in Leo season, so by request, we'll be doing Leo Man and Sagittarius. So, what you think about this? Um, I think I did the right one. No, I did the right one. I think this couple, being both fiery signs, go together great. But the problem, or the key, so that it be, doesn't become a problem, is to lay everything on the table and have a great understanding of where they're moving forward. Mm. These two signs actually thrive off each other. The Leo and the Sag actually get along better than anybody can imagine. Mm. Um, they're friends first. Their relationship might have a couple kinks for the simple fact that they might not see the same, they might not be sexually experienced the same. But without a shadow of a doubt, this relationship is a go. I see something that's not written. I see something that is researched through my past situation with the Sagittarius woman. And what I know about them is they are bossy. There's a lot of them that's bossy, a lot of them that bosses. A lot of them uh, don't have a love for time, for time um, organization. I'm a Taurus, I'm a rebel. This Leo man is nobody. So he gonna want things nice. done dec decency in the order. Mm -hmm. Decency in order. Okay. So this will really upset him, especially when the SAG has ideas that are not on the same playing plan field of the Leo. Wow. I see a Leo getting upset with this SAG because she's not just a follower. She just mm -hmm. don't follow right. She goes her own okay. way. She what we call the wild stallion, the SAG. Mm. I think they will have a good communication because the SAG is going to tell you what's on her mind 24-7. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, though. And the Leo needs to like it. It's mm -hmm. no not for the Leo. So with that being said, I have to throw it in there. I think sex is not an issue. I think everything is not an issue besides the fact that I don't think the SAG follows commands very well. Okay. She's not one of the uh, novelties of the palace. So with this, what do you give it? Not being a novelty of the palace can be a good thing. Mm. Something like the Prince and Meghan mm. overseas. Anyhow, um, I give this Leo Sag relationship one, two, and a half wow. for Meghan because I see nothing but bliss in it in this in the future of these two zodiacs. I had to beg the different. I know I'm gonna get some criticism about this. I just have to go opposite. I give it one up and two down. I think that the, the book tells you this to work out because they're two fire signs that so are going to be very explosive, very passionate, which is a good thing. But I think at the end of the day, that SAG is not willing to take the commands of the, of the Leo King. So what do you give? I, I gave it. I gave it one thumb down. One down. I mean, uh, one thumbs up and two down. Hmm. Where's your boy King Nation over Slay, Nova Chronicles? And it's your boy Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional's World. Please, Please. check out our up and coming things, <clears throat> books, albums, songs, and anything else we can think of. Peace. Peace.